So, you might be wondering what I'm doing in outer space, however, that's a story for another time. For today, I'm going to be telling you about my quest to shiny hunt in Pokemon Sapphire. So, shiny hunting. It's a pretty nice and productive hobby to have, I think. But anyway, recently I have been getting more and more back into shiny hunting after a pretty good hiatus, specifically picking up my shiny hunt that I had in Pokemon Crystal on the virtual console of Murkrow. Uh, Murkrow being my favorite Pokemon, it's of course a shiny Pokemon that I, you know, wanted to get. And then, you know, I started thinking of, okay, after Murkrow, what do I do next? What, what do I shiny hunt next? And the conclusion that I came to is Gen 3. I don't really know at this point what specifically in Gen 3, but I don't know. I just kind of felt like doing Gen 3. It's a really good gen and overall it just, you know, seemed like something that would be nice to shiny hunt in. However, I also kind of want to stream some of my shiny hunting because, you know, I have a YouTube channel, I do stuff here and since I'm going to be spending a lot of time shiny hunting, might as well maybe stream some of that. But then comes an issue. See, for capturing Game Boy Advance footage, there are two ways the Game Boy Player and a DS capture card. The Game Boy Player is the infinitely easier one where, well, I already have a GameCube, so all I would need to do is get a Game Boy Player and then find a way to bypass the Game Boy Player disc, which is very doable. And yeah, that's what I was planning on doing. I was thinking of, okay, I'm just gonna get a Game Boy Player and then, you know, hack hack my Wii and get like the memory, memory card shit done and all of that. However, then I just for the sake of curiosity decided to look up if DS capture cards even exist anymore, because I know that they did obviously back in like 2012 and whatnot, but I don't really, you know, heard anything of them at all, so I didn't even know if they existed anymore. But I decided to look it up and come to find out that they, yes, they do very much exist and they really aren't even that expensive. And I was kind of shocked at this and I, more than I thought about it, I was like, fuck, I, I kind of want to get one. So I started thinking of like, you know, in the future I might want to shiny hunt in Gen 4 and obviously a Game Boy player wouldn't be able to do that. And after spending a bunch more time looking into it and thinking about it, yeah, I decided to go with the DS Capture Card. However, for a DS Capture Card, I'm gonna need a original 2004 NTR... NTR? NTR Nintendo DS. So yeah, a DSi or a DS Lite will not do. Uh, for this, it specifically requires a original DS, which is fine. I've never had a OG DS before and I, I was kind of excited to see wh what it's like. So yeah, I started looking up on eBay if I could find one and eventually I found one that was pretty good condition and uh, overall like wasn't too expensive and all that and I bought it. Uh, after some time it came in the mail and uh, yeah I, I really like it. I think it's like uh, it's a very nice console that I don't hear talked about too much. Oftentimes people tend to more so talk about the DS Lite and the DSi. However the original DS is pretty cool as well. Uh, it is fucking frail. I am fucking scared of touching it because it might just explode suddenly. Outside of that it's good. I like it. Uh, it feels very comfortable to play with. It's nice. If you're not really looking to get like a DS capture card, you're just looking for a DS. Before this, I would have just said like get the DS Lite, obviously, but I don't know. I don't know. I, I kind of like the DS, the original DS. Just don't get a DSi. <laughs> just don't get a DSi. The DSi is kind of a meme. Did you know that the DSi actually has this little thing on the bottom that you can use to connect it to a Game Boy player? Then just put in your favorite game and now you can play Game Boy games on your DSi. At this point I had the DS and now it was time to buy the DS board since uh, there's three options at least with Loopy. I don't know, there, there are there are other people who do DS capture cards but I was specifically looking at Loopy since he's kind of like the main dude I guess. And Loopy offers three different options, either buying the DS board and doing it yourself or buying a straight up capture card DS from him or sending in your own DS for him to mod. Uh, the second option is the most expensive, and the third option is requires, you know, two ways of shipping, which I'd rather not do from Finland, since I assume that the shipping fees and stuff like that would be quite a lot, and would overall just be a lot more pain than it's worth. So because of that, I decided to do it myself. It's also like a fun little project. I'm not very good at the, you know, stuff like this, but I think I can manage it. So I go to buy it and yeah, it's out of stock. Uh, even though it says here that it is in stock, it's actually out of stock. So that's great, but okay. It's just, you know, a little bit of waiting that I have to do. It's not too bad. It's probably like a couple weeks or something. You know, it shouldn't be too bad, right? 
Yeah, in the meantime, I decided to start looking into, you know, what game am I gonna be shiny hunting in? I was specifically thinking the Hoenn games, maybe maybe the Gen 1 remakes later on, but for now, the uh, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. However, if you know anything about Gen 3 shiny hunting, you've definitely heard of the whole Emerald RNG thing, and while it is not a definite kind of like, you can't shiny hunt in Emerald, you can, however, it's just with every single shiny hunt, there's always like a big like, if you have Emerald, you need to do this and this and this and this, and it's just like, it's just more simple to go with Ruby and Sapphire. So because of that, I was thinking of going one of those. I already had Ruby, but I was specifically kind of thinking of shiny hunting uh, Kyogre. So because of that, I decided to go with Sapphire, which meant that I would have to go out and buy a copy of Sapphire since I don't have it yet. So I started looking on eBay and yeah, goddamn, uh, shit is expensive. However, luckily, Japanese copies are not. And even though I don't know Japanese, I do know Pokemon, so yeah. So I find a nice copy of Pokemon Sapphire, order it online, and after some time it arrives. Now, here's another issue. Pokemon Sapphire actually has the same RNG issues that Pokemon Emerald does, where basically the random factors aren't very random. However, this is only when the game runs out of battery, meaning that I need to change the battery. So I buy a battery online and get to changing it. Uh, I have never soldered anything in my entire life. This was literally my first time soldering anything. And yeah, it was fucking scary. I was definitely sure that I would break it. However, I somehow didn't. Definitely not very pretty. <laughs> didn't look too good. It works. It's fine. It's good. Uh, also, after the fact, I found out about these things where you can kind of like install this in place of the battery and then just replace the battery very easily. And I think next time if I have to do something like this, I'm probably just gonna get one of these so that I don't need to worry about it in the future. Then after that, it was just time to wait uh, for the DS capture board to restock. And in the meantime, I was doing the Murkrow shiny hunt and I actually managed to get it. And I'm really happy about that. It's a really fucking cool Pokemon my favorite even. Overall, a nice, nice shiny hunt and uh, got me even more excited to start actually shiny hunting in Sapphire. I was so excited that I actually couldn't wait and I started shiny hunting Trico uh, before I even got the capture capture board. Yeah, I'm, I'm up to 7,000 encounters as of this video and no shiny Trico, even, no shiny Pooches even. I've been overall like really, really lucky with full odds. Back in like 2014, I got a shiny Totodile in Soul Silver in 135 soft resets, which is, yeah, that, that, that's fucking insane. That's fucking crazy. And then, you know, Murkrow in 3,500. Yeah, I think with Trico, this is kind of me paying the price for, you know, getting so lucky previously. Since I've been, you know, waiting for the capture board to restock, it's, it's not been too bad. It's been fun just, you know, shiny hunting on the side. And then finally, on October 11th, so like, Two months after I started this whole thing, the DS capture board finally came back in stock and I managed to buy one. I think Loopy said that it would probably last like a month uh, for them to, you know, run, run out of stock again. However, I think it only took like two days or something, so I'm pretty happy that I managed to, you know, buy it, buy it when it was in stock. And it took like a week or so to arrive in Finland, uh, and then it was handed over to Posti, the Finnish shipping service. And uh, yeah, they kind of have like a history of uh, fucking me over consistently. <laughs> I don't know why, I just kind of fucking despise them. So suffice to say, I was, I was pretty worried about, you know, <laughs> them fucking it up somehow. And they didn't fuck it up that bad this time. So it was handed over to Postin, and they have a thing called the Customs Declaration, which is where if you buy something from outside the EU, you have to basically explain, you know, what it is, uh, how much it costs and stuff like that, so that they can properly, you know, do the custom stacks and shit like that on it. Luckily, this capture board was under the price limit, so because of that, I didn't have to pay any custom stacks for it. However, I still have to file the customs declaration, I still have to put in all the info. Now, one of the pieces of info that they ask is the weight of the package. So, let me get this straight. They're delivering a package to me, and they're asking me, the person who ordered this package, how much it weighs. How the fuck am I supposed to know? Why would I know that? Why are you asking me? Why are you not asking the dude who either delivered it or just USPS? They probably know the weight. Why the fuck are you asking me? I'm the fucking last person who will know the weight. So the two options that you're left with here is to either wait for Posti to update their information so that you can get the information from them how much it weighs so that you can tell them how much it weighs. Or the second option, fucking lie, make up a number. 
<laughs> and uh, yeah, that's what I had to do. And that that's not all, because uh, finally on Thursday, when I when I finally you know uh, did the customs declaration and shit, they said that okay, we have the package, we're going to deliver it, everything is good. And then the next day, when they're supposed to deliver it, which is Friday, they tell me that oh yeah, by the way, you haven't paid the posty handling fee. I have never heard of the posty handling fee. What the fuck is the posty handling fee? Well, it's a 2 euro 90 cents fee that you have to pay them for them to deliver the package. If you don't pay them, then they will just send the package back. Okay, I pay it. It's it's 2 euros. It's, it's not much. It's fine. But because I paid it so late, now I have to wait until Monday to get my package. That's great, I had to wait three more days because of two euros and 90 cents. Uh, fuck you, Posty, you fucking suck. But yeah, on Monday, I finally got the capture board. I was happy, I was, you know, starting to unpack everything, starting to get everything ready for the installation process. I hadn't really put too much thought into it. I was just thinking that I can probably get it done somewhat easily. It shouldn't be that bad. Because, I mean, looking, looking at the instructions, it's pretty simple, it shouldn't be too difficult. However, yeah, it, it ended up being a bit more stressful than I had anticipated. So, uh, I have this, uh, I, I think it's called like a Dremel, Th this fucking thing that you see on screen right now. It's pretty handy for cutting up like a small plastic, like the DS shell, which is what you have to do. But the issue is that uh, I have I have never fucking used this tool before. <laughs> I have, I've never fucking touched it, right? So... Yeah, it was kind of a learning experience, and I ended up kind of like uh, overcutting at some points, especially with the mini USB hole that you have to make. Uh, so it's a bit bigger than it needs to be, but uh, th that's that's pretty much fine. Overall, it, it went by pretty smoothly, and uh, you know, once I was done with it and uh, seeing the actual like uh, DS screen show up on my PC in the software was fucking surreal because like holy fuck, this has been like three months in the making of just like uh, waiting for shit to come back in stock and like all of these different fucking things happening and working on different shit and finally after all this fucking time it, it just works and that was like the biggest thing i was expecting that there was going to be some issues with like software and other stuff and like cables not being put in properly and stuff like that but no it just like immediately worked which was like really fucking nice to see i really hope that there are no issues with this ever because uh, I don't even know how I, how I would open it up again. The most stressful part, the most difficult part of this whole process was 100% closing it. Closing the fucking case after putting the DS board in was really fucking difficult and I was like, I used a lot of fucking force to be able to close it. And I was very scared of like snapping the board in half, but luckily it, it worked, it, it closed, but I don't know how the fuck I would ever open that again. And hopefully I never have to. Overall, pretty fucking scary operation. I'm also kind of regretting the fact that I did this in my room, because now my room is filled with small bits of plastic. Still, everything works, everything is good, uh, I'm happy. But yeah, that concludes this epic saga, full of betrayal and degeneracy. Since I now have a DS capture card, I'm probably going to stream some shiny hunting soon, maybe. I'm still trying to get that shiny Trico, uh, hopefully I won't get a uncatchable shiny Pucciana. We'll see, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, I'll see you someday, maybe, bye.